Justin, Obama appointed activist judge, sabotages Trump on border wall funding. In another outrageous display of judicial activism, a federal judge has dealt a blow to President Trump's plan to use military funds to begin building the border wall in another win for the resistance and their dreams of a borderless society. The ruling came down late Friday from California-based U.S. District Judge Haywood Gilliam, another Obama appointee, that slapped a permanent injunction in the roughly $6 billion in Defense Department funds that were to be redirected to assist with the humanitarian crisis at the border after the President's declaration of a national emergency. Judge Gilliam delivered as expected to the usual array of far-left organizations that had brought yet another lawsuit against Trump in ongoing efforts at nullification of the 2016 election. The groups included the ACLU, which now functions as an arm of the radicalized Democratic Party, along with the Sierra Club. It is no coincidence that Gilliam's action was perfectly timed on the evening after the current Supreme Court term ended, leaving the Trump administration little resource to fight this flagrant subversion of national security by rogue Obama's rogue appointees to the bench who are a little more than activists in robes. Gilliam's order will block the use of $2.5 billion for portions of the wall in multiple states, including California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, which pretty much covers the entirety of states that comprise the nation's southern land border. Via the Daily Caller, federal judge blocks billions of dollars for border wall funding. A federal judge in California barred the Trump administration Friday night from reallocating $2.5 billion to construct border barriers. U.S. District Judge Haywood Gilliam, an Obama appointee, expanded an earlier order and forbade the government from moving forward with specific border wall projects in Arizona, California, New Mexico, and Texas. He also turned the previous order into a permanent injunction. Congress considered all of defendants' proffered needs for border barrier construction, weighed the public interest in such construction against defendants' request for taxpayer money, and struck what it considered to be the proper balance in the public's interest by making available only $1.375 billion in funding which was for certain border barrier construction not at issue here, Gilliam's orders reads. Elsewhere in his decision, Gilliam said government lawyers were advancing an argument that the court should not enjoin conduct found to be unlawful because the ends justified the means. No case supports this principle. After declaring a national emergency at the southern border, the administration announced it would reprogram $600 million from the Treasury Department's forfeiture fund, $2.5 billion from the Defense Department counter-narcotics activities, and $3.6 billion from military construction projects to finance construction of the wall. The $2.5 billion for counter-drug efforts were at issue in Friday's case. Judge Gilliam, who was nominated and confirmed to the federal bench in 2014, donated thousands of dollars to the Obama re-election campaign, Obama for America, and the Obama Victory Fund, according to federal election records, and was rewarded for his loyalty with a federal judgeship, which as yesterday's action shows, has made him a valuable piece in the Obama Stay Behind Network that continues the job of radically transforming America years after dear leader has left the White House. 